Okay, we'll start here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 25 Exploratory Surprise Part 2. In today's episode, we re entered, acknowledging we've been very focused on our tour project. Uh, it's one of further performance to come, and it is all grist for the mill. Uh, the second thing is we did a lot of work on part two today, and the cadences that we've been adding on these lines are, which you just heard some of, are actually passing chords. So uh, we worked hard on our script for the tour. This is it. It's five pages. It's going to take 30 minutes. And again, that's using one of our 3D platforms here. This is where the tour ends. A very scenic, pretty place. And we did make some music for this and added eagle sound effects and things. What we're going to do now is play the uh, part two in its current incarnation, and that should bring us home. Here we go. makes us smile. So one of the things we like about this composition is it's using all those figures. It's using our alternative notation where we we wrote a backbone first and then we fitted cadences to it. And one of our realizations is all the cadences we fitted are actually composed of the notes in the backbone, which is what we call passing chords, which we acknowledge here. The cadences are passing chords based on backbone. Um, our ideas for next time are to add uh, percussion to this piece, uh, also add a bass part. We also picked two uh, things to share at open mic today. Uh, one of them is we just recorded a score of what you just heard, and then we have that recording of the animation of part one, which you've seen in a previous stream. Um, Acknowledgements to Miss Cleo who came by. Thank you. We really appreciate that. You are an inspiration. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.